Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos. So I have recently ventured out to a Tanger Outlets near me and I went shopping. Now here's the thing, I went as a companion to somebody who said, I need to go to the outlets to buy blank. And I was like, okay, I will go with you. And in my head, I had an idea that I needed running sneakers, which is something that I do. So I was like, okay. But of course, you go to the outlets, you it's like Target. You kind of just get lost, and then all of a sudden you've walked out with way more than what you've intended to spend. I actually did pretty well for myself in terms of not losing control. I only bought things from three different stores and two of the stores were things that I actually needed. One store was completely impulse. Didn't need to go in the store, didn't need to buy anything in the store. What happened? So first I want to go over the things that I wanted to buy and my battery's gonna die, so I need to switch it. The first store that I have right now is New Balance. And so I really needed running sneakers, my actual sneakers that I use to run, I'll use that term loosely, but uh, the tread is actually falling off, or the sole, like there's a piece that just out of nowhere just came off and it sounds like, you know, I have like a flappy leather, like rubber piece, it just like scrapes when I walk and I've actually never worn shoes to the point where they are the soles are coming off. So um, I definitely needed to get running shoes. So the New Balance that I went to, majority of their shoes in the store were buy one, get one 50% off. And so uh, the first thing I got were these running shoes. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called, but uh, they were $79.99 and they're really comfortable. They've got really nice sole or arch support. And I just, I mean, I like the colors. The colors are fun, but um, I wanna use these. These are marketed as running shoes, and so I want to use them to run. And I need to break them in for um, a 5K that I'm doing in a couple weeks. The next pair of shoes that I got were these shoes and they are considered lifestyle so just more casual and i actually was going to go with an all pink pair and at the very last second as i was walking up to the register i was like even though i love a pink shoe i've had pink sneakers before i have pink timberland boots i freaking love pink shoes i, I just wasn't like feeling those particular pink shoes so i got these instead which are the same exact style of shoe just different design um and i think this can go with more things so these originally were 69.99 and with the sale price and everything i got the running shoes for 61.32 and these came to 53.66 and i spent a total of 114.98 and in Pennsylvania, sneakers like this are non-taxable, so I just paid, paid $114.98. So I'm pretty excited that I have new footwear because I need new footwear. The next store that I have with items are from Under Armour. And I actually have never bought anything from Under Armour before. So this is all workout stuff because girl needs her workout stuff. So. Uh, I'm not going to try these on for the camera, but I did buy two pairs of the compression high rise full length leggings and these are a size 2x for out of their plus size. I liked that they had a plus size section. That was really great. So I got this, um, this shade blue and then I also got this shade blue. So lots of blues. I was trying to get away from the blacks that I always wear. Um, which is hilarious because I wear a lot of color, but I feel like I own a lot of colorful things But I also wear a lot of black all the time, but I love color hence like orange sweatshirt uh, And then the other two things I bought are sports bras a black one black and a pink one and 
So the leggings were originally $50 and I got them for 40% off. So I got them for $30 a piece. And the sports bras were originally $35. One of them was on clearance. So one, one of these I got for $21 and the other one I got for $15.48. I don't know which one was on clearance, it doesn't really say. Um, and then I donated a dollar because I, I just feel bad saying no when they're like, do you want to donate a dollar to help children? And I'm like, yes. So this actually came up to 97 48 it would have come up to 96 48, but that's what I bought at Under Armour so I can work out Which is gonna be great Because I've been trying to find more plus size friendly sportswear for example at Target and it's non-existent so The last place I went was completely not necessary, but I went to, to Fossil now, I love Fossil. I'm a big Fossil person. I love their watches. I've had quite a few of their bags. I have a bag, an, a crossbody from Fossil that I have been rocking for like 10 plus years. I love it so much. I got that at the regular store. This is the outlet. So the first thing I bought is I bought myself this new wallet. Uh, this is considered the Laney Clutch. This was a wow okay this was originally 74 dollars they're saying but i got it for 29 dollars and i did not know that um but basically when you open it up and you have all your card slots um places if you want to put money and then there's also a zip here for any loose things so i i liked it i have a wallet right now that i absolutely love and it's from vera bradley i don't even like vera bradley that much but i have this wallet from vera bradley but i kind of want it it was like you know fun funky print i kind of wanted something a little more solid so i got this and then why not i bought myself a new bag for fall and winter uh so this is considered the sydney satchel this is originally at 138 and I got it for 89 and I kind of just love this bag and the wallet and the bag are the same shade of green. I freaking kind of just love this. So it is zipper. You can zip all the way around if you want and it can open up uh, and there's also straps in here. So if I wanted to make this a crossbody, I can connect the straps from here to here. I just love it. I just really love this shade of green, this like moss shade of green. That's the color of my car. Um, I have a nail polish, which I don't have on right now. That's the shade of green. So I just really love this um, shade of green. And I really love this bag. I love the quilting on both sides. I think it just gives it like a fun definition. I love that it's a structured bag and it has the little metal feet on the bottom so if you did put it down on a surface but I like that it's not gonna flop all over the place I just love it right now in its perfect little stuffed sausage capacity I just love it so I did do a little retail therapy like I said I walked in I didn't even need a bag and I was like oh let me get this bag while I'm here <laughs> I don't go to the outlets that much and it's been a really long time so I'm just gonna buy this bag so that is what I bought and so that came up to $118 plus $7.08 Pennsylvania state tax so that came up to a total of $125.08 and they also gave me a um there's a warranty apparently a one-year warranty if there's anything wrong with the stitching the straps anything I like that so those are the things that I bought when I recently went to a Tanger outlet. Let me know in the comments, do, if you go to an outlet, do you, do you lose yourself um, or are you pretty restrained? Also, fun fact, only 60% of the stores in an outlet mall have to be an outlet for the whole complex to be considered an outlet mall. So that's why you gotta watch yourself. Don't go crazy in those Bath and Body Works because they're rarely ever an outlet. They're usually full retail. So, you know. Just if you want to get some candles, just beware.
<laughs> but that's it. Uh, if you liked this video or found any information helpful, please think about giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. Until next time, guys, I hope you all stay well.